Only put a few hours when it felt like this Only been days but it felt like months Gone for a year, only felt like months Life moves fast when you do what you want At this sound, doing what I want Welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is Misha Sheree and this is the Misha brand if you're not new here well thank you so much for tuning back in and I'm so happy to see you again okay guys as you can tell from the title we are going to be talking about how to achieve that 90s voluminous very bouncy type of blowout look using velcro rollers so if you don't know what velcro rollers are they look just like this they can come in a variety of circumferences for instance here's a smaller one um smaller and circumference depending on which roller you pick will really um, dictate what your end result looks like so for instance if you choose a wider roller like such then you're gonna get a bigger bouncier looser curl and if you choose something a little bit smaller you're gonna get like a tighter curl right like that kind of just makes sense we all are seeing it 90s is making a huge comeback and so we're seeing um, styles from fashion and beauty that are kind of like a nod to the 90s and I for one am living for it I'm a 90s baby and honestly I just think it was the best era ever so of course I'm excited to bring anything that's 90s related to you guys what we're used to seeing in the 90s we'd watch a sitcom and you'd have this beautiful woman and she would just be like slow-mo walking in a rom-com and she has this beautiful bouncy flowing hair with all this volume um, so today I really want to help you guys achieve that very look so if you'd like to see how I was able to do so, then just keep watching. Okay, so I just got out the shower. Um, I usually put my hair in a little claw clip. And I'm just going to get prepped for tomorrow. This is like a technique that I like to use. If I know I have like a big meeting in the office tomorrow and I don't want my curls to fall throughout the day, I'll like kind of use this technique. So I'm just going to brush through my hair really quickly. I'm just using like any, I call these wig brushes, but I'm just using a little wig brush to brush through everything make sure we're nice and detangled to achieve today's look you're going to need a couple things so one you're going to need the actual velcro rollers so i have like a huge little pack here um and obviously i'll link everything down below but i have two sizes that i kind of work with so there's like this big size i have them in green and in pink i'll just do so you can kind of see what it looks like velcro roller pretty big and then i also will use this size too um, not sure if you can see it or not, but I'll use like this size, which is a little bit smaller. So just so you can compare the two. I usually like to put the bigger ones in the front and you'll kind of see, I have like a pattern in the way in which I like to do this. Um, you'll also need like a curler of some sort. So that could look like something like what I have, which is this, like this little Conair. I believe it's like a one inch barrel. Oh, one and one fourth inch barrel. So literally just like this Conair has like a spring clasp here very very simple i mean literally i think i got this like from a drugstore or something you could also use something like a round brush i actually really want to get myself one because you can get yourself you can achieve a lot of volume with the round brush and then kind of go in with these just to kind of ump the volume anyways so you'll need those and i like to use these little clips and you'll see me kind of like put these um they're called slide-in clips you'll see me put these like at the base of the roller and just kind of like clamp it to my hair to keep everything in place if you have like duck clips like these that's also okay to use um i just have the sliding clips and i like to keep like a scrunchie that way like i can kind of move my hair around i'll also be using my claw clip or like these other little bill clips just to kind of like keep things out of place or in place i like to top it off at the end with a little bit of hairspray but this is um this is like optional you don't have to have this i mean really we're just gonna kind of get into it so because i have a side part i really like a lot of volume kind of like in this top area it really actually doesn't matter how you're parting your hair if you're parting your hair in the middle you still benefit from some volume on the top um so i'm just gonna kind of like section that part out because that part i will be doing last um so i have a video on my channel about how i achieve curls with um foam rollers um, I'll make sure to have that at the top somewhere so you can take a look at that in this video though Like I really want to focus on the 90s are like doing their thing right now 
so for me I really want um, I like achieving that like very voluminous 90s type of like blowout look um, and for me what I love is that like I figured out a way to do so this is gonna stay I figured out a way to do so even while I have like my extensions in so it's a lot of fun just to have like really fun bouncy hair that's the whole reason why at least for me why I like to get into extensions and weaves and stuff like I don't my natural hair is not this color um, but it gives me a way to kind of like play and have different results so um, I'm actually gonna go ahead and knock the back out because I think what makes the most sense and I like to do the back first because once these rollers are in your head in the front you can't really see in the back see but that's what it looks like I really just kind of go like this like I kind of curl this way so away from the face on each side so now we are gonna go ahead and do um, the top and then the side so I'll kind of talk y'all through this so this I have my U part in right now I don't know if I said that but I have my U part in um, so obviously you're gonna see that there's like um, you can see where it's installed at but you just want to make sure that the hair is nice and detangled I like to hold it like this I it makes sense for it to stay um, flat so I'm kind of like holding it between these so that it'll stay flat and then I just kind of take it and again same thing curl away from the face um, it's really it's not rocket science y'all curl away from the face I do like to kind of hold it till I, I'll feel the hair and see if the heat has transferred all the way through all of the strands so just kind of hold it there for a second and then um, you want to release it and immediately I sit this down I pick up one of my velcro rollers and it's already in the form that I want it to be on so I basically just smooth it along to the end I kind of like wrap this tail here and then hold it pretty taut and roll and you kind of want to just Again, apply some pressure, keep it nice and taut. Um, you can also kind of like, you can sit it where you want it to. So depending on where you insert these clips at is where the roller will sit at. So when I insert the clip, I'm essentially sandwiching. I'm clipping onto the roller, but also onto my hair. I'm not, I'm not sure if y'all can see that because I need it to um, stay in place. So you can already see like the hair kind of wants to fall from down here so I'll just catch it right in there with this clip and that's going to hold it in place while I sleep. So now we just need to do the other side, same type of thing. Depending on how much hair you left out you might need one or two rollers on the side. I feel like I can get away with just one on this side, um, at least for today. So same thing, I'm going to come in here, come right near as close to the scalp and then I just kind of like smooth and I'll open the clasp as I'm feeding the hair through to get till I get to the bottom. When it looks like I'm like almost at the bottom, I'll kind of just like hold it there and see how I feel about like the heat coming through on the other side. And it feels pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead, let it curl and dismount. And then take one of these guys and literally do the exact same thing. My two best, my best friends are going to be my two fingers that start off inside of here as I kind of just like roll through. Um, and the cool thing about the Velcro is it just holds onto the hair so well. So as soon as you pretty much place the hair on there, you're good to go and you can start rolling. Um, and now we're here. So I'm just going to take this, slide it in here. Same thing here. Now, the only thing that's kind of different here is my top. 
So everything on the sides and the back kind of just go away from the face. The top, however, you want if you want that volume that you see, like like I, all the people that were thinking of when you think about somebody in the 90s with, with great a great blowout they have volume at the top and the way that you get volume is to basically over project in the direct in the opposite direction in which the hair is going to lay so we know that my hair is going to lay sideways so that means i'm actually going to come this way to give it that volume because i'm going against gravity also it's the rolls are going to be in the front like they're going to roll forward because when it lands I want the volume to kind of be this way because I'm gonna be pulling the hair this way and its natural progression is gonna be towards the front so it's naturally gonna create layers if that makes sense so you have like gravity pulling this way except the height is pulled that way so because it can't go this way and it also can't go that way it goes straight up does that make sense like the hair is gonna sit up to give the volume even though naturally gravity wants it to lay this way but you have had it setting this way all night that's essentially how you create that volume. And I hope that I explained that well. I know it probably doesn't make sense, but it might make more sense while I'm in the middle of doing it. So I'm just gonna literally section out some hair. This is a really good amount. Let me see how much I have left. Yeah, this is fine. It really doesn't have to be perfect to get that look. Oh shoot, almost lost some hair. Okay, let's go through here once more. Cool. So this is the amount of hair that I'm working with. Um, I usually like to actually like leave my leave out out just because um, I don't know it's probably gonna need to touch up in the morning anyways so I'm gonna take my curler and I'm gonna curl away from my face do you see how like I'm coming forward though like it's coming towards you I'm doing that on purpose again to create the intentional volume in the front so same type of deal when I get here I'm just going to I could probably feed it through a little bit more I just don't want to lose the curl and I don't want it to fall out the clamp so I'm just gonna fill this here you can kind of see from the side how it's like sitting forward and it's getting kind of warm so I can probably release it soon so I'm just gonna do like this and hold it and then I already have my velcro roller ready to go so I'm just gonna kind of spiral it onto here yeah and then pull just to make it super taut on the actual velcro and I'm gonna roll backwards till we're sitting right here and then all I have to do is insert my little clasp and you'll you can kind of see here too where I'm gonna insert the clasp at so you can see like it's in it's on the actual roller itself but it's also like in my hair so there's that all right I'm literally gonna do that two more times on camera with y'all just so you can kind of pick up any technique maybe you didn't see I'll try to rotate from different angles so that way we have a couple rounds of you watching me do this so here this is what I'll do turn sideways so you can kind of see see how I'm kind of holding on to that tail too just because like I don't want to lose that like that's keeping the curl on here and I can always just feed through to make sure that it gets the heat that it needs but let it sit there I would say like maybe like six to ten seconds so you should feel the heat kind of come all the way through Where's that? Mm -hmm. I'm running a little low on my little clasps so the ones at the top might only get one clasp and that's okay these are like the my least worry i'm really more so worried about the ones that um you can see i'm kind of like smoothing my flyaways on here too as i rotate up so here we go and I feel like the hair would more so come out this way, so I'm just gonna sit this right in here. And we're 
good. Last piece right here. Again, I like to, you can do whatever you want to with your leave out. I like to leave mine out. Um, Cause nine times out of 10, it's not gonna be the right texture in the morning anyway. So I just kind of leave it out. And this right here is our last one. And after this, I literally just go to bed. I will say they're not as comfortable overnight, obviously, as um, the foam roller ones. But you can you can maneuver them around and get like a pretty decent night's rest with them in. I just like, you know, I don't mind sacrificing not being as comfortable because I know it's gonna take me five seconds to do my hair in the morning, and I'm gonna have, I mean, a bomb look. I like to do this like especially if I know I have like meetings with like senior leadership or like there's gonna be like you know like c-suite meetings like I'll make sure that I like do this to my hair because girl the other days I'll be going to work y'all can get whatever I have to give um, okay so again holding that super taut and rolling up Make sure you smooth onto the Velcro any flyaways. And it's gonna feel a little silly, right? Cause you have like basically these little scoops in the front, but it's fine. It'll be worth it. And if you have hairspray, it's totally optional. I like to use it though, because I really feel like it helps just like really set the look. So I'm gonna do that now. I just do like literally the most random quick spray. And I'm just gonna, like I said, throw my bonnet on just to protect it and help things stay in place. If you get like flyaways or things falling away, like totally fine. Honestly, I feel like when every single hair is not exactly the same, when there are these little flyaways, it makes it look a lot more natural, but that's just me. All right, well, I'm gonna go to bed. I will see y'all in the morning. Bye. Good morning, it's Tuesday. So it's the next day and I'm gonna go ahead and take the rollers out. I just wanna show you guys like what it's gonna look like and how to kind of work around if you have any like kinks from the final product. But really what you should be left with is a super voluminous, um, really pretty like blowout curl type style. Um, as you can see, I have like a mega bonnet. Um, I don't always wear one this big, but it's big enough just to kind of like accommodate the curls. Um, I like to start in the back personally, so I'll just kind of start by taking out one clip and taking out the other clip. If your hair like moves around, you may find that the clips might get a little tangled in, but like not to worry, it's not a big deal. And then what I like to do is just kind of like unroll. And then I have this brush here like handy for a quick comb out. And then I use my finger just to kind of like guide the curl, right? So as you can see, very bouncy. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue taking them out. Um, again, I like to leave the front for last just because to me, like those are the most important curls in my humble opinion. You can see how I'm kind of like using my finger to guide the curl. This one decided that it didn't just didn't want to stick with the clip, which is fine. It's not gonna be like a super seamless process. It might be a bit of like a fight, you know what I mean? But it's so worth it. Also, I didn't even like, at first I was like nervous, I guess. I'm always nervous when I have these, but because I kind of did them where like the back was split, I just kind of slept like right on my pillow like this and it was totally fine. Like it's not uncomfortable at all. Okay, yeah, that's the clip that I was looking for. And there we go. And so like right here, you can see like this probably could use just a quick detangling and then boom, still left with super bouncy curl. All right, now I think that's everything from the back. Yeah, there's just this one on the side. So now I'm gonna do these guys in the back on this side. I try to do the ones at the bottom first. That just makes the most sense to me, anyways. Because once you let the top out. Once you let the top out, it's like in the way. So I like to do the bottom first in most cases. 
Oh, did I miss one? Yes, I did. And this, I think, could really benefit from like, just a quick brushing through. So that's, I think, everything in the back. While I'm pulling these out, I have like my pressing comb and it's like warming up and my flat iron is on while I'm taking these out. That way, it should make for a really quick and seamless um, touch up, like once you get everything out. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and take this guy out. On the side here. Ah, here we go. So we have this nice curl here. And to me, you'll see it more like maybe you feel like, oh, it's just like a big curl, but you'll see it more like when they all kind of live together. And I'll just take this guy out. Nice and bouncy. And that's really what I'm looking for is like body, you know? Okay, so now I have these guys in the back here. So I use my fingers and see how I'm like, you can already tell I'm gonna have some great volume back here. Okay, so you can see like my leave out is just kind of like literally just hanging out over here. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take out the second one that's up here, same deal. It's gonna come forward and I just kind of like let it roll off. But you can see already it like immediately went straight up it's gonna give me volume and I'm gonna show you like kind of like a final technique to get as much volume as possible out of it so our last one in the very front here you just kind of unroll and I like to just kind of give it a little curl at the end Whew. so cute it's gonna be so cute I'm so excited so I'm just gonna take a little bit of bio silk here and I'm gonna put literally like a little pea size in my hand and I'm gonna concentrate it here as like a heat protectant for my own hair, but also whatever's left, I just kind of like smooth through the bottom of the hair just to make sure like it's nice and moisturized. Second phase is I just need to literally just flat iron this piece right here. And this piece right here. I have the flat iron on a pretty low heat setting because I don't, I do this quite often and I don't want to be like burning my hair out. Okay. The last but most important step, genuinely, is taking this comb or a feather comb like such and take it and push, like literally comb your hair backwards, right? And then push it forward. This is kind of how you get that like super layered, bouncy look. And it looks stunning. Combing my hair through just for a seamless blend. I'm an ear tucker, so I will tuck mine behind my ear. I adore this look. Just so pretty. Um, my personal last step is I'm gonna take my edge control. I use gummy edge control, it looks like this. And I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of create a little bit of hair art with my baby ears real quick. Just so they stay tame throughout the day, it's gonna be pretty gloomy and kind of windy. So to make sure my little baby hairs aren't flying away, I literally am gonna take such a small amount and just kind of like smooth it along here. I don't know why. It's like I almost like blend it in. <laughs> um, and then I like to take my comb. I like to comb everything kind of just like down and forward. And then I just go in. And create like this little small swoop situation. Here's our place, and we're good to go. 
Okay, that's kind of how I achieve my everyday look before heading into work. Again, lots of volume, lots of movement. I just really, really love this look and I think you guys will too. Thank you so much for hanging out with me, sticking around to see the finished product. Ugh, I absolutely adored hanging out with you guys, teaching you some new techniques on how to roll your hair. Don't forget, I also have a video on how to roll your hair with foam rollers if you're looking for a little bit of a tighter curl um, and less like body and um, loose waves or like loose curls. And don't forget to subscribe, like. Um, the thing about subscriptions is it costs you nothing and it really helps support a small creator like myself. And until next time, babe, bye.